hi guys welcome back to spice channel tv thank you for always coming out here if you're joining us for the first time please kindly subscribe and don't forget to give us a thumbs up thank you you know nigerians are watching the steps made by president bola admit the yorubas the Igbos, and other ethnic groups they are watching they are looking they are saying oh the yorubas they have it now we will see how they will undo it the chief of army staff is a Yoruba man. The IG is a Yoruba man. The custom CG is a Yoruba man. Even the CBN head is also a Yoruba man. So we won't be surprised if, if a Yoruba man also becomes the minister of finance. Now all these steps Tinibu is taking, the other ethnic groups are watching. They are watching, they are monitoring what Tinibu is doing. And uh, some Nigerians have alleged that the list of uh, the appointment list of President Bolad Mertinibu is too Yoruba centric. I mean, Nigerians have rea uh, reacted to the appointment of the new service chiefs, the IGP, and other positions. And uh, we got to see how the old service chiefs were retired, and then immediately Tinibu recruited new ones. And yes, this, you know, success source of uh, you know this appointment made by president bola admit some have continued to kick generated knocks while others have continued to generate praises on social media but then we got to see that uh, one person you know among these service chiefs the newly appointed service officers one of them is also a southeasterner the likes of uh, royal admiral emmanuel yes ogala the chief of Navy staff, who is from Enugu State, yes. So he's one of the Southeasterners that was, you know, uh, recruited in Tinibu's government. But then, my country people, we have um, Mr. Shegu, who have said that um, the other ethnic groups are watching the steps being taken by President Bolad Mer Tinibu. This is coming from the gubernatorial aspirant. For the PDP in Ogu State's 2023 election, Shegu Sowomi and has alleged that the other ethnic group are watching the steps being taken by President Bola Admetinibu. He said in a meeting with Yoruba media practitioners that the president has appointed Yoruba people in key positions of governance and according to him, Tinibu has to avoid the mistakes of his predecessor by bringing everyone together in his government he said the yorubas the Igbos, other ethnic groups they are looking they are saying oh the yoruba they have it now and uh -huh. we will see how they will handle it the chief of uh, army staff is a yoruba man the ig the yoruba man customs cg also a yoruba man the cbn head is a yoruba man so we won't be surprised if a yoruba man becomes the minister of finance and uh, you see other tribes other ethnic groups they are watching him closely so my country people this is a very you know noted uh, observation made by mr shego and has made it known to tinibu pointed the fact out for him that oh he should look into his list oh, so it won't be as if he's only recruiting his own people into his own government leaving the southeasterners and other parts you know the northerners out of his appointment list or those that he's given appointment he has made it known that he should consider other ethnic groups other ethnic tribes they are to be included in tinibu's government in tinibu's administration that tinibu should not take the part of the former president mohammed buari who brought in, you know, incompetent northerners because uh, he felt, oh, they were his brothers, and then he brought them in, regardless of their status or if they can take on the job. But we've seen so far that uh, the the new appointees, those that were given appointment, the new service chiefs, they all looked like yes, people that could do better. They really looked competent, and you know, Nigerians are. We are just tired. In fact, the whole issue of this ethnic sentiment, whether be it from the south, those from the southeast, and those from the north, you know, at this point, Nigerians are tired. We don't even care anymore. It seems that, uh, well, we just want someone that will do well. Yes, be it the Yoruba, whatever it takes. Hope you will do the job. 
Because if you don't do the job, that is when people will start talking. Nigerians will start talking. So if Tinubu, you know, is to uh, has recruited these people in his government, giving them appointments, the new service chiefs, he felt that the old ones were not competent enough. He didn't even retain any one of them. All of them resigned immediately. He sacked all of them and then brought in new ones, fresh ones. And then we get to see that... Um, Although the Northerners, they are watching, the other ethnic groups, they are watching. But then, my country people, what are your thoughts concerning this? We know that these are sensitive offices, these are sensitive positions that need competent people, that needs people who can do the job. Sentiment aside, we know that uh, each tribe, uh, each uh, ethnic group or each tribe, they want, you know, to feel included. And Tinibu made it known that... Uh, his government will be an inclusive government. He will bring everyone together. But at this point, some people are gr uh, grumbling. Some people are mumbling because they feel left out. They feel that, oh, Tinibu is trying to take the part that uh, Buhari did. You know, though Buhari had done almost the same thing. But then Tinibu is doing far more better because uh, he knows the people he have recruited. He he feels he trusts them and he knows that they are competent enough to take on this job. So my country people, Nigerians are very well aware of the fact that most of the lists are, you know, mostly Yorubas, you know, those from the Yoruba part and uh, just few people are from the Southeast and other Northerners. But uh, then, my country people, Nigerians are really tired of dragging this issue of, uh, you know, personally, I am tired. The issue of uh, dragging who will take on this position, let them zone it to the north or to the south. But then, those that were in, the, in this position before, the northerners, even the other past people, how well did they do their jobs? At this point, personally, I am concerned on what they would achieve, on what they would do. So, my country people, what are your thoughts concerning this? Do you feel that, oh, Tinibu's government should be, uh, you know, inclusive? He should include other, other ethnic groups, other tribes, aside only the Yorubas, because currently the Yorubas are, you know, occupying top, top positions in Tinibu's government. He's not even looking at the Southeasterners. He's, he's not even looking at the North, you know, the Northerners. What is really going on? Should we put more pressure on Tinibu? to be inclusive or we feel that okay i think uh, tinibu should carry ahead as long as they are competent that is the number one thing that nigerians are looking at this point in time so guys what are your thoughts concerning this do you agree or not with uh, mr shego so me who have alleged that um all the list of uh, tinibu is just so you know the people are all yorubas i'm dropping here guys kindly share your thoughts concerning this in the comment section thank you bye for now